Now the 10 a.m. Uh, start time for that might be a little dicey weather wise. Alex, what you think as we go along tomorrow, the rain will move out, right? I think the threat's really going to be during the morning hours and then the afternoon we will begin to clear out across central Georgia. So good news for the event down there. Warner Robins, the Cherry Blossom Festival yep. here in Macon and everything else going on in central Georgia. Certainly dry hours will be around this week and let's get to it with a live look over downtown right now. A temperature of 71 here in Macon and as we look elsewhere across the area, we're going to run into temperatures in the upper 60s, low 70s here in central Georgia. But the radar picture is quiet, at least as of now here in the area off to the west. Not so much. I tell you what, it has been a night out to the west. No doubt about it. Several very strong. I mean, I would go as far to call them violent tornadoes in parts of Mississippi. Uh, several tornado emergencies we've seen uh, and that those are very rare. Now a couple warnings there into Alabama. What I want to point out here, and this is not something we see every day. Back near Amory, Mississippi, not too long ago, we did see uh, a donut hole in the radar there. And when you get that on the national radar picture, that means something really uh, not good happened in that area. So we're going to be looking for pictures out of Mississippi here in the days ahead. Also up into Tennessee, some severe weather up there this evening. So we did have the level four in place. I think that came to fruition. Now we have a level three here for the next little bit as these storms work their way towards central Georgia. But notice the threat stair step down. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, we're going to be talking about a level one threat for us here across really much of the state. Damaging winds, the very small possibility of a brief spin up tornado and some large hail will be in the picture for Saturday morning. So this is going to begin right around 7 a.m. and last until about 2 p.m. But notice all of these threats here are as low as they go on the scale. So this is a very low end event, but it is going to be in the picture nonetheless. So here we go into the morning tomorrow. I think we're going to see a little more in the way of storm activity than what feature view is showing in this exact run. I think you're going to see uh, some organized storms moving into the northern parts of our area. Regardless, whatever we do have will be falling apart as it moves through. So I really think the better chance for severe weather tomorrow is going to be across our northern areas more so than our southern areas. But really by the afternoon hours, we should be mainly dry across the area. Plenty of sun and then a pretty clear sunset as well with the southerly wind continuing. Now the main reason why we're talking about the severe weather threat is because when we play the tornado potential forward. Notice we are low on the range here, but still not zero across central Georgia. So that's what we're watching for here through the overnight hours. Then we get into Sunday and we're going to be talking about maybe a handful of showers Sunday morning before Sunday afternoon. That's a new model run there that just brought a wave of heavy rain through all of this to say the front's going to be stalling out in the neighborhood and waves of rain are going to be possible here over the next several days, including overnight into Monday morning, some heavy rainfall potentially, and then later in the morning on Monday as well. So watching the details on this, potentially another round of rain there on Tuesday. After Tuesday, though, I do think the front finally gets a shove out of here and we're going to be talking about clear weather into the end of the week. But if we can get this nonsense out of here by the time we get to Tuesday evening, a really cool sight across central Georgia skies, a planetary alignment, five planets along the same line it will be Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Uranus and Mars Tuesday just after sunset. If you see it, be sure to take a picture of it. Post it in the 13 WMAZ Weather Network Facebook group. As for tonight, going with 61 for the overnight low. The clouds will be building in the final weekend of the Cherry Blossom Festival. I've got 84 for Saturday, 82 on Sunday. Uh, we're really just throwing darts at the board at rain chances at this point. As <laughs> you saw future view there, it's just going to keep on updating. So 70% is what I've got for Saturday, 40% on Sunday. It's very possible you could see rain on Sunday, not on Saturday. But a 70% chance of rain on Monday and Tuesday. Frank, I broke out the number two pencil for weather. I think we need the eraser for our brackets and sports. Oh, yeah, and not a good time to be in the old March Madness pool. All the number one seeds, poof.